is the world record holder in this event. Rowdy, how many world records are you supposed to have as a 17-year-old? <laughs> not many. When I was 17, I was certainly not thinking world records, that's for sure. And now here she is, America's darling when it comes to the sport of swimming and, and really the, the most popular female swimmer on, on the planet. Has already won twice here in Orlando, going for win number three in this, the Arena Women's 200 back in Orlando, Florida. And in lane number one, to see a Carasas is a 17-year-old, just like Missy Franklin, swimming in Florida. And then lanes two and three, both Germans. Selena Hacke is a 16-year-old German in lane number two, while her fellow countrywoman Eileen Diener is 18 years of age next to her in lane number three, won a silver medal at the German Championships a year ago. And then Missy Franklin, of course, top qualifier, world record holder in lane number four, going for win number three in this Orlando meet. Hillary Caldwell will swim next to Missy in lane five, the 21-year-old Canadian who was third in the 100 back here in Orlando. Kylie Stewart is in lane six, just 16 out of Atlanta, was fifth in the 200 back at the Olympic trials last summer. Barbara Jordan, 21-year-old out of Montreal, fifth in Austin in this event about a month ago. And Olivia Smoliga, the 18-year-old from Glenview, Illinois, second in the 100 back here in Orlando. She'll be in lane number eight. But of course, all eyes will be on Missy Franklin in lane number four, Olympic gold medalist, world record holder. Daunting credentials for the other seven who are gonna try and take her on. I think she's got a great chance of winning this race by seven or eight seconds. That's how much better she is than everybody else, not only in this field right now, but everybody else in the world. She already has the fastest time in the world this year. Steve, that's 207.3. She had the fastest time in the world earlier in the meet when she won the 100 backstroke. That's 59.3. Without question, the best backstroker in the world. And I was talking to her coach just a little while ago, Todd Schmitz, and Missy was standing right there. I said, what do you think she's got to do to, to pop off a good one here on the 200 back? Did you expect, first of all, did you expect it in the 100? And what do you think she needs to do here in the 200? And he said, I expect her to break a minute. I didn't think she was going to go 59.3, but if she swims the same way she did last night and then earlier in the meet rather then she's going to be much better here in the 200 because the 200 is a better event for her. Rowdy it's one thing to be better than the rest of the field but it's another to be as much better as Missy seems to be. Why is that? I, I think she has the entire package meaning she's got an incredible feel for the water. Everything stroke wise is perfect, perfect for her. She's six one. She's very tall. Great great length of stroke. And she's got that perfect feel for the water. The angle on the water stays controlled. She's got great tempo, got stroke, great stroke rate. But the biggest thing is the intangible of, of keeping it all in perspective. That's what she's so good at. Great parents, a great lifestyle, really gets it. I mean, it easily could have turned pro, Steve. Sure. Millions. She's still, she swim, turned, she's still swimming in high school. She still, she turned down millions of dollars to stay eligible to swim in college. So she really understands what the sport is all about. I'm not saying that's the right or wrong decision, but she really gets what swimming should be. Now here she is in the final 50. She has the lead in lane number four. Gonna recall well the Canadian next to her in lane number five is swimming in second place. Well, 207.3 right now is the fastest time in the world this year. Once again, I think she swims better when she swims more events. She's not going to be 207 here. She's going to be a little bit slower. I think she needed to have something right before it. <laughs> He's going to be close. Uh, she stops the clock at 208.47. And Missy Franklin gets her third win here in Orlando. Take away the 207 that she did last month in Austin. And that's still a solid time. I mean, it, it, it's the third fastest time in the world this year, if you want to put it in perspective, Steve. And I, I think all the swimmers right now are feeling the, the dampness in here. And not necessarily the dampness, but it's cold. It's supposed to get down in the mid-30s here in Orlando. And uh, I think a lot of that they can feel a little bit on the deck here. Good shot of Missy again. That great catch outside. She makes very few mistakes. Doesn't overreach. Good turn. Rotates very well. Needs to be a little bit tighter there on the turn, but still... Very nice finish at the end. She's got great length of stroke at the end. That last stroke is always so good. That's how she won that 100 backstroke, by the way, last summer. 
when she finished that last stroke was did it what what, what did it for her. So another decisive win for Missy Franklin as she takes the victory here in the women's 200 meter backstroke Hillary Caldwell second Kylie Stewart in third place winning time 208 47. The world record holder wins again in the 200 back and we'll see her later as we continue from Orlando.